Hey everybody, this is one of the coolest videos I've ever done because behind me is, well, the oldest car in the entire world, and in this video, I'm going to drive it. This is an 1885 Potent Motorwagen, and it's pretty much agreed upon to be the first viable internal combustion powered motor vehicle, the replacement to the horse. Now they built 10 of these between 1885 and 1893, and there were a couple different series. This one is a series one. It's not an original unit though. This is a replica built by Mercedes-Benz about 20 years ago. They built 150, they sold them for right around 55,000 euros, but it is a true to form replica of the original model. So the engine, the chassis, the wheels are all just about what they would have been back in the late 1800s. And here's how it works. So of course it's a three wheeled motor vehicle and uh, a lot of these parts are derived from bicycles. So of course the rear wheels are bicycle like, the front wheels are bicycle like, and actually the tube frame, all very similar to what you'd find on a bicycle back in the day. Um, now the steering is done via tiller. So you twist this handle to the left, the wheel turns to the left, you twist it to the right, and the wheel turns to the right. And then this of course is where you sit. This is your sitting platform, put your seat up there and it'll seat two fairly comfortably. Now down here, you'll actually find your throttle. That knob is how you control the engine RPM. So you set a throttle and then you basically just leave it there. It idles right around 300 RPM and that's where you drive it, right around 300 RPM. Top speed, about 25 kilometers an hour. So what's that, 15, 18 miles per hour. And it's powered by a single cylinder internal combustion engine, gasoline engine with about a thousand cc's. It makes roughly two thirds of a horsepower. Some people up, say up to one horsepower. Now this is how you actually operate the vehicle. So you get the engine running and then you move this lever forward and backward to control the drive. And what this lever does is you can actually see, operates these little fingers, which moves the belt on these drums. And that is how the vehicle is moved. So basically you got this belt, which then applies friction to one of those little drums. And then that propels the vehicle forward. And then when you pull this backwards, that drum, uh, that, that belt is applied to a different drum and that'll actually slow down the drivetrain. And that is how you slow down. It has this enormous flywheel back here to keep things moving. Uh, this is your fuel tank, so a little tiny fuel tank, and that's your water tank. It's actually an, uh, a, a uh, it's, it's not an air cooled, it's a water cooled engine, which is pretty advanced. Oil drip system, so no oil pump. And then this enormous canister down there is your carburetor. It's uh, got a differential actually in that little drum system, and it's got two chains, one on each side, which power these bicycle tires. Now, uh, very cool thing, actually, one of the first long distance drives ever in an automobile was in a Pottenwagen by a woman, which I think is just fantastic and uh, often a forgotten piece of history. Uh, this is your battery and your ignition all lie in that box, and that is pretty much it. It's a very simple machine, but very elegant and surprisingly great to drive. So I'm gonna have um, Michael with me, uh, Mercedes Classic Division show us how to start it, and then we are going to go ahead and uh, take it for a drive myself, see what it's like to drive. To start the engine, you need a strong arm for the flywheel to start. So I take the ignition on, air for the carburetor, oiler on, and then Hopefully it starts. <laughs> it works. It's a bend. So can you show me through the controls and what they do? Yeah, it's, it's very easy. The driver sit on the <coughs> left side, right hand at the steering, left hand at the drive shaft, and that's it. Is there a throttle or is it just one speed? No, it's one, one speed. One speed wow. 25 kilometers, top speed. 25. Can I hop Come on. Here? Yeah. Sit by my side. Wow, 
look at that. Is there a break? Yeah. Yeah. Unbelievable. It's pretty comfortable. Yes, it is. You know, That's the, the first car. What what move without force. pretty well actually <laughs> and on this car you feel the speed I know we're on a smooth road but it's got a very good ride it's very good yeah road. unreal <laughs> <laughs> and that's the top speed huh no it goes a little bit faster the top speed is uh, 25 kilometers do you know how many revolutions per minute that engine's turning? 300. 300, okay. Yeah. What's the size of the engine? It's a one liter engine, one horsepower. You know, you move pretty good for one horsepower. I think so, yeah. yeah. And how do the brakes work? Is it like a drum or is it a belt? A belt, okay. it's a belt. That is amazing. That is, that is amazing. Thank you. All right, so this is what it's like to drive a car that's 130 years old. So the steering tiller, very light. It's actually a super light steering mechanism. And then it's basically just a clutch, right? So just slowly push it forward. That is amazing. Oh, I almost just stalled the oldest car in the entire world. So basically the engine operates at a fixed RPM and then you control the speed using a clutch based lever. And there we go. Look at that. So you just turn it using the tiller and they suggested I do some gentle turns, which I definitely understand. Honestly, this is easier to drive than just about any modern car because there are no pedals, there is no gear shift. It's just essentially a belt to the rear wheels. You push it forward and that's how you move it. That is just amazing. And then the brake is just a pull back. Imagine doing like a hundred kilometers in this. Unbelievable. Yeah, it's surprisingly comfortable. It's, it's really comfortable. So, have you ever had it up hills? Will it go up hills? Soft hills. Soft hills. Um, thank you. That was a real pleasure. Thank you. <laughs> That was an amazing experience to drive the Pattenwagen from, well, the design from the late 1880s. It's just amazing how simple it is and how well it works all these years later. Just move the lever, leave it at a constant RPM and travel along. Now, uh, fuel consumption is terrible and the water consumption is even worse, but they told me back in the 1800s, right? Um, there was water in every little village because horses. So that's the explanation why this thing uses so much water. But overall, huge thank you to Mercedes and Mercedes Classic for letting me drive the Pottenwagen. A bucket list experience. We'll see you on the next one. That's uh, probably something a little new.